it's estimated that there's about six and a half million types of fungi in the world and there's only about 150,000 of them identified. So there's no answer to your question because it's still evolving. In Ireland, there's about 7,000 mushroom producing fungi. So it's still an evolving, evolving knowledge. My name is Bill O'Dee, and I've got a passion for mushrooms, and I teach people about mushrooms and how to identify mushrooms, and about eating wild mushrooms, and most importantly about avoiding poisoning themselves with wild mushrooms. There's old mushroom hunters and there's bold mushroom hunters, but you'll never meet an old bold mushroom hunter. Now Ireland and the UK are fungophobic. So people are, were brought up to be scared of mushrooms. They weren't particularly well informed. Uh, they were just told, don't eat anything. The field mushrooms are okay. Everything else is potentially deadly poisonous, which is true. Other cultures where they have mushroom festivals and celebrate mushrooms in season. And they, they are brought up to uh, enjoy collecting mushrooms and eating them in season. And, and the elders bring the young ones out and teach them what's, what's safe and what's not. The UK and Ireland are fungophobic and I think really it's fair to say mainland Europe all the way back into Russia is uh, fungophilic, very positive about, about mushrooms. In, in a world where people are so disconnected through uh, mushrooms, it gives them that connection and opens up an area that may interest them that they can pursue further and learn more about the beauty of nature and you know which, which is fundamental to us to understand that I think if you don't have that it's you know the world's a bleaker place. A small amount of soil under your footprint has, has you know a thousand kilometers of mycelium and it could have up to um, a thousand different species of fungi in it. And so the soil is alive with it. And, and all the trees and the plants are all exchanging nutrients uh, with fungi. And um, it's, it's all around us. It's on our skin, it's in our microbiomes, it's, it's everywhere. We have evolved on the same evolutionary thread uh, as, as fungi. We, we are of fungi, we're on the same line as fungi. Um, fungi are closer to us than they are to plants. And so some of the pathogens that we have are similar and some of the defenses that fungi have developed as because they are far more evolved than we are, um, also work for humans. Yeah, they're, they're all over, it's all over your skin, it's in your stomach, it's everywhere. And it's an important part of you. You know, if you think about it, we're like a, if you look at a tree, a tree has roots and then it has these mycorrhizal relationship with all the different fungi around it. And the fungi brings all the nutrients from the soil back to the roots of the tree. The roots of the tree aren't particularly good at collecting the nutrients. It's the mycorrhizal relationship that brings the nutrients back to the tree. We're the opposite. You know, the tree doesn't move, so it has to, the food has to be brought back to it. We're the opposite. We, we can get the food we swallow it and all the fungi then and the bacteria within our stomach breaks it down and that's how we absorb it into the nutrients into our bodies. You know, so we're, we're the, the tree is like the inside out version of what we're doing. It's, it's a way of understanding the complexity and the beauty of all of life and, and, and all our ecosystems. You know, they've been on this planet for one billion years. They've evolved in, in, in an incredible way and survived the mass extinctions because they don't need to photosynthesize. And, you know, when you see all of this, you realize just the beauty and complexity of, of life around us and how respectful we need to be of it because 
it's it's something that you know we're inclined to uh, take for granted or not care about and ultimately it comes back to bite us when we when we destroy it and we are destroying it and um, so people need to understand that I think